Another project that I've been working on is these uh, mini uh, local net uh, devices. Uh, their inputs, because local net usually is by way, by the reason I like uh, local net is because it's a uh, by way uh, communication. Uh, but with this board there, it's only single. So you talk to it, you tell it what to do. It doesn't give back any feedback. So uh, for these, uh, for this purpose, it's, it's neat. Eventually, it would be nice to uh, to see one that is will also give back feedback. Uh, this is, was designed by. Uh, I'll put a link in the in the comments below. Uh, Gear Gibbons. So uh, he did it on a little perf board, but I created these little circuit boards because, like I was saying before, is uh, with the company uh, J J C P. JLC PCB, uh, you know, five dollars you get ten boards. In this case, you can put uh, about uh, eight or ten of these boards on a hundred by hundred centimeters. So you know, you end up getting uh, fifty boards or more. So it be uh, becomes a lot. So uh, the only difference is, uh, like I said, they are local net, but I'm not installing a local net, uh, you know, RJ12 uh, connector here with the six pin because I would need, let's say, one to come in uh, RJ45 or RJ. 12 one in and then one to go out to the next board so in this case i just put the three pin wire uh the uh, three comes in and then the three goes out so it daisy changed to the next one and so forth so that's like sort of like the bus you can see here three wires go from this one to this one this one to this one and so forth so um and then you have an indicator to tell you uh, the transition of uh, you know, when you gave it the command, if it's switching. Then you have your output here, which is a plus 5 volts, a ground, and the two center pins are your outputs. So in this case, I'm sending that to a, an Arduino uh, a relay. Uh, so plus 5 volts to power it, and then the ground, and then the two inputs. So, um, and then this, this, is a, this push button is to give it the address. So what you do is you press and hold it down. You give a turnout address because they operate on turnout addresses. You give it the turnout address and then uh, you release the pin. And then from then on, they'll use that address. So in this particular case, I gave it an address of uh, 500. So let me see over right here. If this comes in clear. Oh, off this camera, I'll give it 500 to trigger it. See there it switched. So as I go left and right on 500, you can hear the relay triggering, the LED pulsing. So uh, as you can see, it went to red. Now I'll select 501, throw, close. So now you can see the, the second one, which program, I can give it any address. It doesn't have to be 501. But in this case, five, you can see 501 is triggering, but not 500. Uh, the same for 503, 503 enter, there you go, and we'll go 504, 504, oh, now we got one hidden here, 505. See, this one is connected to a, again, an Arduino but a, a relay, but there's only one relay, so I'm only triggering one of the inputs. You can see only one of the inputs is wired up to the, to the relay. So that's how that's uh, wired up. So which neat, what's neat is, you know, you can pass these around your layout. You can create, like, a, a, a local net bus. Again, you know, local net bus is usually that uh, telephone-type cable. Um, so that would be like for, you know, for these boards and such and all the, the standard local net devices. But for this one, like I said, I'm using this. So you can, I guess maybe the other option is to run a three, three wire bus around the layout and then connect these, these local net devices if that's the way you want to go. The other way I usually uh, operate is uh, I have my other decoders that I've built. I'll show you in a second. Okay, so these are... Um my SHD2 uh, DCC uh, decoders, but they're, uh, like I said, DCC. So the, whereas these ones are local net devices, these ones are um, DCC devices. They operate by uh, turnout commands, but then they also operate by a signal command. So for like signals, because what they what they do is they're wired up for, for running signals. Here is uh, another version here that has this one. Uh, let me see. 
in your picture. This one includes uh, resistors, because uh, and these ones don't. The reason is because uh, when you use these signal masks from uh, Digitrax, they have built-in resistors over here. They're surface mount resistors, so they don't require uh, resistors on the board. But if you're going to wire it up to uh, your own LEDs, you'll need some resistors. So I have a version here that I added the resistors. So uh, they operate uh, eight outputs. So uh, yeah, so eight outputs. So in the case of, uh, let's say, two signal masks, you have uh, four lights and four lights. So red, yellow, green, but then also a white. And then this, for the second mask, uh, red, yellow, green, white. So they're DCC. So th what's neat is you, you can plug those into a, the DCC bus and away you go. Whereas, like I was saying, with this one, you would have to add a separate, uh, let's say, a local net bus on a three cable thing. So, um, and then the thing is that this one gives out uh, two outputs. It has an LED to tell you indicator here and then it's very easily to to add, give it the address as uh, you press the button to hold it here. Whereas uh, DCC, um, guys they uh, decoders they tend to be uh, there I don't have a button to uh, activate it what you do is you give it the CV you change CV uh, 2 and uh, yeah CV 2 is the address but what's neat what's what might be a problem is sometimes you know with the DCC if this connected all these are connected to the DCC bus and then you accidentally you know on the track there in the main track you send CV 2 you give it an address of whatever a hundred ten nine whatever then what happens is all these uh, these, you'll have triggered all these uh, decoders to now re, to that to be their address. So in to now to go back to individually uh, change your addresses, you have to disconnect each one from the DCC, and then uh, have them just on its own DCC program each one. And so that would be messy. But what's neat, what I do is I have a, actually a separate uh, DCC bus. So the DCC bus that's going to the track is for all the locomotives. But the but then a separate DCC track for the accessories, so the decoders are going. So if I actually do programming on main and send the CV1, uh, CV2, uh, the address for the decoder, uh, you know they won't all reset. Only if I did that on the accessory bus. So uh, just to show you different kind of hardware. So that's um, that's a little local net adapter that seems to be working uh, very nicely. All right, thanks for listening.